Hi, welcome back to Elgo Space. I'm Corin Sidhu. Today, in this video, we'll configure coc.nbeam. Uh, we already have uh, installed the coc.nbeam. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, then uh, you should watch the previous video before watching this video. Uh, now that we have a coc.nbeam uh, installed, uh, what I'm gonna do is that uh, we're gonna uh, cd into uh, dot config. Uh, I'm gonna go to that directory. Okay, cd into nbeam. Okay, and right now I'm gonna clear the screen first. You can see that I have an init.bin file here. You can see the container of the init.bin file. Uh, okay. Uh, so we have uh, auto fair plugin uh, and we have a coc.nbeam plugin which is the host for the language server protocol uh, it can host uh, many uh, language servers uh, so we have already we have also installed a language server sub, language server protocol for uh, c++ uh, you know like we have installed a c++ lsp support with the help of uh, clingd uh, which is based on clingd so in this video we will we are gonna configure some of the you know configuration for uh csr 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 dot uh, uh which is uh con con concuro completion uh cc stands for concuro completion okay uh so uh what are you gonna do is like i'm gonna uh, go to like you can go to coc.nbin. Uh, this you can just do coc and then you will find a link here. Uh, then uh, below this link here, you will find that it is the configuration file that we should have uh, on our system. Okay, okay, for this, I'm gonna create one more file here. I'm gonna Let's clear the screen. I have only init.pm file here. Now I'm gonna uh, create one more file here. CSC dot bin. Okay. And bin. CSC dot bin. Now I'm gonna copy paste the script that I just copied. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna open init.bin file. Okay, now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna source it so that it will it also consider uh, dot config dot config slash and beam okay and beam slash cc dot okay coc dot b okay fine now i'm gonna close it now if i open it uh it is it is also included this uh let me check Okay, right now I can click it. Okay, it's fine. It has also included the coc.bin file. Okay, I will keep the link in the description for these files. Okay, uh, uh, so I'm gonna go to home directory right now. I'm gonna open the code.cpp file that I just, okay. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna send it to bits okay std c plus plus dot h okay now it's working fine now I can also click on snippets like for like I'm gonna do is like I'm gonna vector int a a dot push back okay okay push back 10 now it's working fine. A dot push back twenty. Now the C++ LSP support is working fine. 
after the configuration after i add these files add this configuration to csv.beam and uh, also included the csv.beam uh, with uh, in in init.beam file now the lsp is working much better now we can click on it um, before now we can click on this and it's gonna open but i'm not gonna save it okay okay all right it's fine now it's working fine okay if i do it so like using namespace okay uh SPD. okay this is working fine all right uh, you can also the, see the key mapping here. Uh, it's like a, there are key mappings. You can check out uh, by reading this configuration. Uh, who is case of map to which command? You can just see it uh, here. Uh, okay. So make sure you check out this key map key mappings and use it uh, as your wish. Uh, so I'm the, I'm just gonna keep this video short uh, because it was uh, just about the configuration. Um, it's like it was just about adding these files, adding this configuration into the csv.bim file and also including the csv.bim file in in the .bim file. And uh, you can also uh like uh, what i'm gonna open you can also without sourcing this you can also copy paste uh this script like you can also copy paste this here uh if i don't want to like uh if i don't want to you can just copy paste here but uh um i don't want to do that i'm just gonna source it because i i just want to make it uh any dot beam file clean i just want to keep it clean that's why i'm sourcing it into another file uh so that's it for today's video uh make sure you subscribe to my channel um and hit the notification bell uh, because i'm uh, coming out with uh, ma many good videos in the uh, future uh, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and yeah that's all uh thank you see you in the next video